still on section 2.2. If you don't want to use the tiles or you're not asked to use the tiles, you might be asked to use a number line in order to add integers. The easiest way to use a number line to add integers is to look at the first number that you're given. In this case, the number is 4 plus 2, so the first number we're given is 4. Now it doesn't say plus in front of it, but any number that doesn't have a symbol in front of it is a plus. For example, this is plus 4 plus a positive 2. So it is a positive 4 and a positive 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is plot my point positive 4. So I'll do that in green. So positive 4, well here's 0, the middle. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4 is right here. Now there's two ways to do it. I'll show you the first way, and then I'll show you the other way. The first way, and in the way that I suspect most people will do it, is once they start on plus 4, you will have to add 2 more, or 2 more positive. Well, when you're going to this way, it's going to be positive. If you go this way, it's subtracting or negative, because you're going towards the negative numbers. So let's add two more. So starting at plus four, we go one, two more jumps. So here is the answer, and the answer is positive six, like that. Now if you look at it the way they do it in the textbook, they start off by doing the exact same thing. They plot, and I'll do that in red, they plot positive 4. So let's go down here and find positive 4. Here it is right here. And the first thing they do is they start at positive 4, and they draw an arrow going two more over. So I'll draw the arrow. So starting at positive 4 right here, I'm going to draw my arrow with two more, or positive two, and there's my answer. So whether you go jumping like that, or whether you draw straight arrows, both are acceptable. However, the text also shows you one more way to do it. And the other way that they show you how to do it, I'll show you on a third number line in the middle of it. If you don't understand the other two, or the other method, they're just they're a little bit different. You don't have to really look at this one if you don't wish, but I'll show you because that's one of the ways that they show you. So we start off at zero. The textbook says to start off at zero, so we'll always start off at zero. First we're going to go positive four, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to add positive two more. So then we will add positive 1, positive 2 more, and we end up at plus 6, or positive 6. Now either method is fine. If you like starting at plus 4, which is the method I like using, and then just adding 2 more, just jump 2 more. If you like to start at 0 and then just start by adding 4, and then add 2 more, then you can use that method as well. Either method is fine, but for simplicity, I'm going to choose the first method up here where we start with the first number, and then we add on whatever else is there. So, the difference between the last one and this one is we're not starting with a positive number. In the other one, we started at plus 4, or positive 4. Now we got to plot that first number on our number line, which is minus 4. And here it is. And then we're going to add 2, or a positive 2, if we wanted to put the plus sign there. So let's add 2 more and jump on the number line. 1, 2, and our answer, and where we end up is negative 2. The other way the textbook shows you is that you start at 0. Always start at 0. And we're going to go negative 4. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and then we're going to go positive 2 or add 2 more. So we'll go back the other way, 1, 2, and we end up at exactly the same spot that we were there. So either way again is acceptable. Now in this case we have two more negatives. So we've added a positive and a positive. We've added a positive and a negative. Now we're adding a negative and a negative. Well, we start off the same way. We plot our negative 4. So here's 0 and there's negative 4. Now we're adding and normally when you add you go to this side. But we're not adding a positive. So we're doing the opposite. We're adding negative or we're adding more negative numbers. So instead of going up 2, we're really going down 2. So down 1 and down 2. And we end up becoming even more negative or negative 6. Think of it this way. If I were to tell you it's minus 4 degrees outside and then I were to tell you that oh it's minus 4 but then we're gonna add another couple of minus degrees outside. It's basically what we're doing is we're dropping two more degrees. So it's going to be minus 4 and then we're going to add another minus 2. It's going to give us a minus 6. Another way to do this is called sign switching. Well we started off at the very beginning with this. So I'll bring him down again so we can do him again. There. And some people don't like doing the adding negatives. So one way to get around having a negative is called sign switching. So if you don't like this negative, you can take the opposite of this and the opposite of this. So it's switching them around. So what's the opposite of my plus here? It's going to become a minus. What's the opposite of my minus here? It becomes a plus. So now we're just at minus 4 same way we always did it and then we're going to take away or subtract 2 so subtract 1 subtract 2 and the answer is minus 6 so the sign switching sometimes gets confusing for students if you're not comfortable doing that then stick to the method we used up top